All right, we're back. Let's break into this fucking prison. Open fire on the guard post. Your shots miss the mark, and the guards open fire on you. That's great. All right. Open fire on the guard post. Okay. This is going super. Uh, med kit? Shots missed the mark. How is it this hard to just, like, shoot the guy, go through the door? Ridiculous. How many guards can there be? There. You kill the first guard and he slumps over the controls that open the gate. You dash into the prison with the other guards, hot on your trail. Okay. This is a joke compared to a corporation. I also know exactly where Eileen is. There we go. There we go. Eileen is on the very end, I think. That's not Eileen. There's Eileen. Eileen gracefully leaps into a cat-like fighting stance as you enter. You briefly explain your involvement with the Sinsarok and your purpose for being here. She smiles and reaches under her cot, pulling out a crude but workable homemade pistol. Tell me more. Love that prison shop class. She points to the ventilation duct in the hallway. Help me with this grade, I've got a few scores to settle. Between the two of you, the grade is dismantled in record time. Thanks, chum. When I get it here, I have some biz to discuss with Gunderson, so if you want my help, I'll be at the Jump House in Redmond. Tell me more. She scurries into the duct, which is too small for your bulk. Looks like you'll have to risk the front door again. I'm not intimidated by that at all. It's a bit of a walk. Okay. Rescued Eileen, now we just have to go tell the elves. Which Joshua will do. Call Sharky. Female voice modulates, like to procure your services to the Sinsorok. 5,008, easy money. An armed elven guard stops you at the gate. Greetings, Sir Joshua. How may I accommodate you this fine day? May I speak with the tribal elders? I will show you to the Lodge of Elders. Thanks, chum. The elders assemble and Lady Gillian steps forward. We have received word that all is well with Eileen. We are very gracious, but there is the last part of the ritual to complete. Better not be a fucking dragon scale. Tell me more. Thirdly, will you promise to aid, defend, and respect the Sinsorok, both the land and the people, for the rest of your days? Simply answer yes. Thereby you will prove your holy shit. Yes. Your answer pleases Lady Gillian. She leads you outside where an initiation ceremony has begun. That was it. This is to average out that horseshit with the dragon scale, as I had to say yes. Tell me more. The entire elf tribe of Sinsrock has assembled outside. They hush as Lady Gillian begins. This individual known as Joshua has proven himself worthy to be called a friend of the Sinsrock. We grant him honorary status in our tribe. May Elysia, our first chief, watch over Joshua as he watches over the actions of all the tribe. The tribe begins an elvish chant, then silence fills the air. Slowly they each come up, rest their hands on your shoulders, and call you brother. Lady Gillian then invites you back into the elders' chambers. Now that you are an honorary member of the tribe, I can answer your questions. What can you tell me about Elysia? He was the first chief of our tribe. It's a girl's name. 
His ideals are what all members of the Sinzerak attempt to achieve. His known deeds are recorded as object lessons, and his life is an example to all elves. You would do well to study him. What do you know about someone named Thon? Little is known of this disgusting individual, except he has taken a great interest in the Sinzerak. His purposes cannot be benign, but as of yet we cannot fathom his true intent. We only know his two toads, Vigor and Jarl, have been desecrating our land for over a month now. Tell me more. We have gathered that Thon is a powerful fighter, but he is intelligent enough to let others do the fighting for him whenever possible. This also appears to be true with his bidding. What? I'm looking for an elf named Frosty. That's the whole fucking reason I'm here. Ah, Jane Foster. She is the student of one of the most powerful and secretive elves in Seattle. She came to Seattle under mysterious circumstances and has been and has worked with her patron ever since. Now, let me take you to Frosty. She is expecting you. You are taken to Frosty. There is a definite edge to her features of one who has seen and done things unspeakable. However, her attitude is calm, her words warm. Tell me more. Joshua, it is good to finally meet you after hearing so much about your exploits. All of the second-hand stories do you no justice. You have shown remarkable tenacity, skill, and ability. Thanks, chum. I just hope you have the talent to finish the task you so rashly started. Now, what did you want to know? What do you know about someone named Thon? Thon is more and less than he seems. But I think that information should come from my master. To be honest, however, I'm amazed you've stood against him as long as you have. Why is Renraku involved? As with most megacorps, Renraku is mostly interested in profit. Somehow they got hooked up with Thon and his goons. They think they can profit from whatever Thon is up to. Thon has other plans and seeks to burn the bridge to Renraku. Tell me what you know about my brother, Michael. I contacted Caleb Brightmore for a few runners, and he chose your brother, as well as the others. I deeply apologize for your loss. I had no way of knowing Thon and his cronies had set an ambush. Tell me more. Oh shit. My master is Harlequin. It was he who asked me to find a team to go into the Shelly Sheed. Although some say he is crazy, he has a plan and the ability to see it carried out. Harlequin seeks to end Thon's present in this world, but I have said all I can on the subject. I think it is time you talk with Harlequin. You can find him in the Pea Barrens in the Taurus Lair Garden Apartments. Neat. Alright, I'm fucking taking that helicopter back. If you wish, I could call one of our cops. Do it! One brief and exhilarating ride later, I'm back at the highway. To the, t to the Pea Barrens! Nope, that's not it. It's the one that's not the inn. That's where Harlequin is. This one. You enter the Taurus Lagarde Apartments. Two elves carrying submachine guns greet you at the door. They say nothing but motion you to follow them. They lead you into the elevator and you ride to the top floor. Tell me more. Passing even more armed elves, you enter the penthouse. Inside, you find a bizarre sight. There stands an elf, his face tattooed like a clown. However, his expression reflects his serious nature. This must be Harlequin. Tell me more. So we meet. I guess you would eventually have found me, given your resources and abilities. As you have probably guessed, I have been keeping an eye on you since you first arrived in Seattle. Tell me more. You've acquired quite a reputation in your short time here, yet your original mission remains unfulfilled. I will help you if I can. Tell me what you know about my brother, Michael. Your brother's death was made worse by the fact that it was wholly unavoidable. Nope, wholly avoidable. That's more reassuring. I understand. I underestimated Thon, and he punished me by destroying those of my employ. I apologize for Michael's death. Oh, well then. All is forgiven. Who is Thon? Thon is a what, not a who. It is a free spirit, an elemental whose summoner was killed. Thon is older than most, and with age comes power, considerable power in Thon's case. Tell me more. But Thon is cursed. He must replenish his life force, or his form in this world will eventually cease to exist. Thon seeks out magical artifacts, and in a ritual of destruction, absorbs their energies. Oh no. Tell me more. Currently, Thon's energy is waning, but make no mistake, he is still very powerful and quite dangerous. But to save on expenditure of his energies, he now uses much outside help and avoids direct confrontations. Why is Renraku involved? 
Renraku became involved with Thawne through Vigor, who was casting about for corporate support. Renraku assigned Mako to the project, but he was easily blinded by the promise of power and became Thawne's unwitting pawn. After Thawne fragged his relationship with Renraku, Mako was replaced. Ito Ogami is a legendary player of hardball. I've managed to keep him and Renraku off my trail so far. I've killed Ito, so Renraku is no longer involved. You managed to have him killed? You managed to have him killed. I put a fucking bullet in his face. No, I think it was a mana zap. It seems that I am not the only person to underestimate you, although it appears I'll be the only one around to correct my mistake. Well, with Ogami out of the way, Renraku should bother us any longer. Thon turned on Renraku when he thought he no longer needed them. I believe his actions were a bit premature. I still feel him growing weaker. However, I suggest a run against Renraku to find out exactly what they do have. Well, that's it. All that's left is Renraku. Your enemy is an El- yes, Thon, fucking Teen Wolf. Vowed to aid the Sinserok Elves. Thon is a free spirit who must destroy magical energies to replenish his energies. Magical art, holy shit, I'm doing that thing where I forget how to read. Harlequin suggests a run against Renraku to search for information they may have on your brother or Thon. Renraku suspects Vigarl and Jormor. Oh, no shit. Ito's passcode. I got Renraku. So, like, everything points to Renraku. And all that's waiting for me at Renraku is a fucking coffin. A cheap plywood coffin. We've got 3,000 new ints. Maybe we got a bunch of karma running that corporation that I didn't need to run. That would be the only good thing to come of this. Looking for some sleep. No towels. I'll live. 25, didn't I? Did I spend all my karma yet? Or is this all brand new karma? Eleven. Eleven to save. Sure. Willpower's max, so yeah, you spent it all. I forget what the skills max out at. I think twelve. I think twelve is what it maxes out at. Twenty three level up those computers. And level up those electronics. It's half maxed. He's at fifty percent capacity with using computers properly. All right, give this to Pete. I don't know where I'm going. The, the phone's over this way. Alright, we've got that Matrix run from Julius. That'll give us some walking around money, hopefully. And then after that, we're gonna have to do a lot of legwork, earn some karma, and then uh, hopefully we're strong enough to survive the Renraku run. Let's do the Matrix first, though.